During the Network Integration Evaluation Exercise, or NIE 12.1, the Army is evaluating the mission command on the move capabilities that allow soldiers to communicate vertically and laterally through voice and data in a tactical operational environment. We've got multiple tasks going on out here. We are, we are evaluating 15 to 20 rapid equipment fielding items, which some are networked, some are not, and they are intended to go right into theater in Afghanistan and other places now. Over the top of that, we have a longer term project to work for the Army, which is this data and voice network intended to be fielded uh, from the individual soldier up through the brigade command post, the brigade tactical network, both voice and data. Military leaders say the data and voice network will operate and meet different requirements in different types of fights. So I may use the same software or applications on each one of the devices in any type of conflict or environment, but what I'm asking of it may be completely different. Brigadier General Randall A. Dragon, Commanding General for the Brigade Modernization Command, said two fundamental priorities of the current NIE 12.1 are first, for commanders to be able to command and control while they're moving, and second, to pull information out of the network and get it to a soldier level. You can look back in history and think about how we commanded on the move. Uh, at one time we used uh, messengers or runners. Uh, we've used uh, flags while we were moving formations. We've used uh, radios to be able to talk to one another. In this digital age, we're now able to pass information rapidly, uh, large quantities of information to create a common picture so that uh, commanders can, can command effectively and get their soldiers in the right place at the right time. In a simulated search for high value targets, Sergeant Ryan Moore from Charlie Company 1st Battalion, 35th Armored Regiment, said he used the rifleman radio system that is designed to give voice communication through everybody in the platoon. I think it's important for soldiers because it gives each soldier overall situational awareness and uh, <clears throat> takes out a few steps as opposed to having to get up from where my position is, say if I'm, I'm dug in somewhere and run over and, and check on a soldier or, or get, pass information along to a soldier. If he's got a radio with FM communications and he's monitoring, either I can call him and tell him what's going on or uh, he, he's monitoring the radio so he's hearing the same traffic that I am. Sergeant William Wilson, also from Charlie Company, used the wearable computer systems Wireless Network After Next or Winnem and Net Warrior in a mock raid scenario. He said the systems are designed to accelerate the flow of information, giving soldiers the added advantage to respond. The Net Warrior does. It, uh, it allows us to help populate the, from a, from a bird's eye view, basically satellite imagery, helps us populate uh, basically the maps, giving like CCP information, uh, current checkpoints, phase lines, and, and things such as that. Sergeant Moore said he believes the Army should pursue technology that allows soldiers to access key information anywhere, at all times, and all the way down to small units and soldier level. It goes back to the basics of what we all do, which is the three basics, we shoot, move, and communicate. And all this, all this equipment, it lets us do that faster. So, you know, there's no, there's no shooting flares in the air to signal things anymore or anything. I can, I can call somebody and everybody knows we're all on the same page at the same time. Reporting for Fort Bliss, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Diana Baguette.